In a world where failing is not an option, comes a dramatic presentation of three Asians trying to pathetically press a that was easy button. But couldn't afford one as staples, so they used a computer as replacement. After more than 40 hours and over a hundred failures, I present to you one and only that was a hard, <clears throat> that was easy project. Are you serious? Okay. It double click. A few moments later, I present to you that was easy project. That was easy. As you can see, there's a marble sitting in the cup which is held by a card. Now this card will be removed by an elastic band. Which will then cause the marble to roll down this track. Until it hits these series of marbles which will knock this golf ball. Into the cup over there. This pulley system will cause the other cup to rise, which will hit this marble down. When this marble has rolled down here, you'll hit this hammer, and this hammer will then knock this marble down the track, hitting this book bouncing off to this track, which will hit the dominoes. Now, as the dominoes fall, it will eventually get bigger and bigger, which will ultimately result in this box. When this box falls, it will hit this badminton racket as a lever, and this badminton racket holds a ping pong ball. This ping pong ball will then be flinged all the way here, Falling down a tunnel, bouncing off this foam into the cup. This cup will then funnel the golf ball into a hair dryer, which will blow the golf ball, which will blow the ping pong ball actually, bouncing off the wood, which will then be funneled down here and hitting the dominoes. These dominoes will then result in hitting this card box, 
releasing the marble inside this tube. As this marble rolls down, it'll hit the magnet, which will attract the other magnet, pulling the slit open. for a marble inside to drop down. Which will hit this mouse. Which will start this video, which will say, that was easy. So how we built this part, as you can see here, there is a hole, and so we basically used a styrofoam cup to cut out the bottom of it, put it like this, and then put the marble inside with this card. Now the bottom one is similar in construction too, where the bottom is cut up to allow the marble to travel down once the card has been removed. So for this section, how we made it, we hot glue gun two popsicle sticks together to make an X, and then we use another popsicle stick, uh, popsicle stick to glue it like this. Eventually, we uh, glue a whole chain of them to create this ramp. Here we have two styrofoam cups. We poke two holes in it to thread the string into it. We attach these two cups with another piece of string with a knot. We have a paper towel roll that holds the pulley system allowing the cups to move up and down. So how we made this section was by using two popsicle sticks and a skewer. By using these two popsicle sticks, we can sandwich the skewer in the middle, creating two distinct hammers, which are embedded in these styrofoam boxes. Now, when this hammer is pushed by the marble, the other one, as you can see, will lift up, hitting the marble on the bottom. So how we make this launcher or lever is simply by using this cardboard box. And as you can see, we cut holes through them. We put reinforcements on the side using popsicle sticks. So when this lifts up, the trajectory is relatively straight making it more reliable. And by using this badminton racket, in conjunction with this styrofoam cup which has been cut down, we can put a ping pong ball inside it, like this. And so when this lever lifts up, the ping pong ball will shoot towards the funnel. Okay, for this part, this cardboard bucket is cut is made of cardboard, cut to size, and hot glue gun together. Uh, the towel is this uh, absorb energy from the ping pong ball, so it drops down. And then the phone down there is just taped to a piece of styrofoam to keep a certain angle. And then it drops down in this cup which has a hole in it, which is taped to a uh, paper towel roll, and then drops down in the track. So how we built the section is by taping skewers onto this hair dryer, which supports this modified paper towel roll, which leads to this wooden box that is taped onto this cardboard box. Then we have this cardboard box that we designed that funnels the ping pong into this styrofoam cup, allowing the ping pong to roll down this track. For this section, as you can see, how we built it is by using two distinct card boxes. Now this one you can't see because it's been taped up, but this one is empty, so it has virtually no mass. And um, this paper towel roll is taped at least on one end to the other card box. So what we do is we, using the dominoes, as you can see we also have a marble here, we put this marble inside, and when the dominoes hit over this pretty much massless card box, the other end will drop down and it will release this marble. So for this section, we have two distinct magnets. Now they're both covered in styrofoam as they're very strong magnets. So 
what we do here is we place it like this. And when this marble rolls down and knocks this one closer to the other magnet, it attracts, as you can see, they come together. Now, at the end of this magnet, we have a slit, or we have a piece of cardboard, which is blocking this marble, which is supposed to be in here, from dropping down. Now, these two paper towel rolls are kept together using skewers. And once the magnets have attracted each other, this marble will drop down, hitting this mouse and playing the video. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Three, two, one, go, go. What the? No marble? Fail! As you can see here, this trial failed because of our poorly designed cup, allowing for the marble to still stay in the cup, even after the card was removed. This trial was a fail because our track failed to accurately guide the marble towards the other marbles. We fixed the problem by adjusting the track so that it would be more precise and accurate when guiding the marble. As you can see here, the golf ball failed to enter the cup. We believe this is because of the cup being poorly positioned and also because of the way the cup was designed. The golf ball didn't enter the cup because it bounced off the string that held the cup up. We fixed this problem by readjusting the position of the cup. Here the marble at the top didn't generate enough force rolling down the track in order to start the hammer system and push the marble at the bottom. We could have prevented this problem by replacing the top marble with a bigger one. The reason this trial failed was because the angle at which the marble bounced off the book was slightly off. This section of the project is inconsistent because the speed at which the marble travels varies based on how the hard the hammer system pushes it. And if the speed changes, the angle at which the marble bounces off the book also changes. We couldn't find a solution for this problem, so we had to readjust the position of the book every time it failed. This trial was a fail because the marble didn't generate enough force traveling down the slope. Another reason we hypothesized was the track was too low and that the point of impact on the domino was too low as well. We fixed this problem by raising the track a bit. What? This section of the project was the most frustrating of them all. The amount of force, angle, and position at which the box hits the racket is different every single time. There are too many variables to account for in this section, so we decided to move the lever closer to the backboard to give it less room for error. As you can see here, the ping pong ball barely misses the funnel we designed. If we had designed the funnel to be a bit bigger, there would be less room for error. First try, first try! In three, two, one. Oh wait! Oh, we forgot to turn the van. Oh shit! Oh, wait. This trial was a fail because the ping pong didn't launch far enough. If we had moved the funnel closer to the point at which the ping pong was launched from the beginning, this fail trial could have been prevented. Once again, this trial was a fail because the ping pong ball failed to enter the styrofoam cup funnel. 
The funnel we designed was a bit small, allowing more room for air. What? This trial was a fail because the marble failed to nudge the first magnet close enough to attract the second magnet. This could have been avoided if we had positioned our magnets better. What? No! Are you serious?